Hello, all my Templars. This is Commander Ken reporting in with week 4 updates for Battlegroup VR. Mainly expanding on the Fighters and Bombers update from last week. But first we have a UI update for configuring your ships. A way to show the actual stats on them is during this mode as you're putting on your modules. You can also now see the various attributes such as scan range, weapons, shield arcs, overall health, the ship speed, and uh, the supply of the ship. And as you zoom in, it will go away so you can focus on the actual modules. Whee! Alright. Now for the main event. Just added, you guessed it, fleet carriers. Because we had fighters and bombers last time. So obviously, they had to go into something. So it's a big ass carrier. This one has uh, three pairs of hangars three, for three fighters each, so a squadron of six to be deployed. Um, I think right now I have a two fighter squadrons and one bomber squadron. So let's fill out the rest of our fleet and then we'll give the carrier a spin. Let's get you. And, uh, yeah, you will do just fine. All right, let's get some fine men and women to captain these. You and you too. Bam. And, of course, we'll take the carrier as our flagship. And let's rock and roll. Brand new uh, warp in effect. So you can warp out, so therefore for mission transitions you warp in. All right, let's see what we got. So there she is. The ship that we're on is the fleet carrier. And uh, are there any enemies yet? Mm, no. Okay. So let's move you forward a bit. And we have abilities on the top here for deploying the fighter squadrons and the bomber squadron. So they come out of the hangars on the sides. So let's see here. You can see it on the mini-map too, so let's activate them. And as you can see, they get deployed out of the side. I'm really happy with that effect. And they will automatically form into a uh, battle group with the carrier. So as they're deployed, they'll escort the carrier and start attacking anything in front of it. But you can also grab them individually and tell them to peel off and do their own thing. Uh, Enemy AI also can use carriers, so they'll, as they get into a target, they'll deploy fighters to uh, start attacking you with. So when this carrier starts seeing us, which it is now, it'll start dropping its fighters as well. Looks so cool. Let's see what that looks like on the outside. We have a our fleet carrier on the side of us, so we should probably see this out the window. Deploy fighters. So they kind of pop out of the hangars and go into formation. Let's get a better view here. There's one above us. And release everything. Fin, fin, fin. Uh, what am I doing? I can just make sound effects in post. Carrier has arrived. That guy should have invested in flat cannons. I also tried to do some contextual UI changes, so the uh, shield arcs only show up when they're being hit or they're very low, so it doesn't try to clutter the screen as much, because obviously if you look around, you get all this, and it's hard to see what's going on. So more work to be done on that front, but uh, that helps a little bit. We also have uh, battle stations for stationary targets that you have to uh, defend or attack. And as you can see, it's we're defending this one right now, so it's a giant structure, it's being attacked, and it has plat weapons and its own shields, just like that. So it's a bit, pretty much a ship, except it just can't move. 
acknowledged. Last thing I want to show you is the new mission select menu that I'm planning to have show up after the score screen, after you warp out of a mission. Let's get out of here. Engage. So it's going to be some form of mission select where you'll have points of interest on the map that will correlate to either a story mission or a random generated mission. Haven't decided yet, but I thought it was a pretty uh, cool UI feature to have. And of course, you can zoom in and, you know, unknown signals for whatever the mission name will be um, to actually go to the next mission on that through here. Orbit time lapse. Well, that's pretty much it for this week. Remember to subscribe and share with your one other VR-capable friend. And we'll see you guys next week. This is Commander Ken, signing off.